Ang sa likod. Mag face to face po tayo. Okay. <laughs> Ayan. Sige. Ganito pong gagawin natin. So medyo bumpak ng konti. Kasi somebody will pass here later. So make sure you go back. But behind. Okay. Kayo naman ang magdadaan dito. Kayo ang mga turista. Kayo ang mga frontliners. Habang dumadaan sila, pero tayo sa isa ha, habang dumadaan sila, i-greet nyo sila na magbuhay. Okay? So, kayo naman ang namin mo ang pag-i-greet sa inyo. Okay? So, lahat ha, so titignan ang mga na kung nagmamabuhay sila. And why not, I'm also okay. observing you guys. Ayan, picturean din natin afterwards ha. Pwede na akong Okay. Sisimulan na po, ha? May turista. Basta naka medyo na Ready? Gusto ko makita. Here comes the tourist.
Jollibee. What comes into your mind when you speak of Jollibee? Food. What, what, what else? Huh? Ano yung slogan nila? Bida ang saya. Okay? Kung ako may mga anak na maliliit, lalo na may maliliit, pupunta ko sa Jollibee kasi bida ang saya doon. Masaya yung mga bata. Right? So, what about this? Okay, ano yung slogan nila? Can you sing that? Everybody, one, two, three. Right? Mga guwapo ang mga taga-cordillo. Guwapo lang. <laughs> guwapo magaganda lang. Ano, joke lang. No? Okay, that's right. We've got it all for you. Ibig sabihin, kung ako maglalabas, magsha-shopping, bibili ng sapatos, bibili ng damit, bibili ng grocery, panood ng sine, kakain sa labas, punto na ako sa SM kasi we've got it all for you. Right? O ano naman to next? Ano ang kanilang slogan? The heart of the Philippine. Right? And then, ano po yung slogan nila, no? The heart of the Philippine. Okay. Kaya maraming sumasakay ng mga balikbayan sa sa Philippine Airlines because parang sa, sa big sila mga kita ng kapwa Pilipino. No? Kasi Pilipino magagaling magservisyo. Next, ano naman to? I'm sure kilala niyo yan. Sino yan? Mga best friends niyo. Guys, sino yan? Ano yan? Isa pa nga. Ano yan? Isa pa nga. Isa pa nga. Ano ang kanilang slogan? Ano yan? Tagay? Ano? Pero meron pa sila
Given na kasi ng magaganda yung tanawin natin eh. Given na na masasarap ang pagkain natin. Given na na uh, mura dito ng shopping. Pero more than that, magaling kasi tayo magbigay ng sandwich. So ladies and gentlemen, our service brand promise is... Ito ko ha, our service brand promise is... Filipino brand of service excellence. Yan po ang ating pinagmamalaki. Yung ating Filipino brand. Okay? So to make our brand promise stick, we will consistently deliver the Filipino way of service excellence that is infused with the right set of core values, Filipino values. Our branded way of saying the Filipino cares. Now, I want to do, give you one each of this one. Uh, whiteboard at saka ng uh, erasable markers. Patulong na lang, please. Ito. At every tourism touch points. Okay. Isip pa po kayo, Sir Ma? Yes. Ayan. Okay, mahiyahin lang ng konti. Okay. Service excellence. Saan po ba nang pinapakita ang service excellence pang face-to-face -face lang po ba? Saan pa? Social media. Very good. Social media. Lahat naman po kayo may mga social media accounts. Ano ano yung mga social media accounts nyo? Facebook? Instagram? Twitter? Ano pa? TikTok. TikTok? Yes, TikTok. Okay. So yun yung mga, mga social media accounts ninyo. No? So, social media. Now, do you know that even in our SOCMED accounts, dapat pakita pa rin ang, so, ang service excellence? Dapat kailangan yan. Now, ito yung bigyan ko muna kayo ng stock na yung survey. 67% of, of consumers have engaged in a brand social media for customer service needs. Ibig sabihin, bago sila i-choose, bago nila i-choose, yung inyong transport group, i-check mo na yan. Okay ba yung, ano yung uli yung company nyo? SBTC? CB. CB. Ah, diba? Okay ba yun? Or okay ba, ano ba yung company ninyo, sir? CBSTC din. Okay. So, yun yung, yun yung, uh, bago sila mag-choose niyan. Ay, pupunta kami dito. Okay kaya itong company niya? Nag-research na. 67% nag-research. At itong mga nag-research na to, mag-i-inquire sa inyo yan. At pag nag-inquire sa inyo yan, 42% of them would like to re uh, would like to, to, to have a response in one hour. Pag hindi nyo ito pinireplyan, ibig sabihin, wala kayong service incidents. Okay? Now, let me just tell you an example. Ay, mag-share ako sa inyo na example, ha? Yung example po, ako po ay nagahano ng three accounts. Forest House, Raquel's Cuisine by Forest House, at Venus Garden. Yan po yung aking pinibigay ng uh, admin po ako dyan. One, two, three! Or mabuhay before you even 
say good morning. Okay, wala na pong po, wala nang uh, ma'am or sir, kasi yung, yung intonation nyo, kahit wala nang po, is already will show respect. Okay? So, say, we will say mabuhay, uh, good morning, this is Patrick, how may I help you? Ganon, okay? Mag-greet ulit tayo. One, two, three, go! Sandali, parang mga tigre naman to. Nagyan natin ang konting buhay. Okay. One, two, three. Hello po, mabuhay. This is Patrick Paul from Raquel Spasin. How may I help you? Okay. Meron pa kasing hello po eh. Di ba the very first three word must be mabuhay. Okay. Okay. Wala na yung hello po. Kahit walang po. Kasi the tone will say mabuhay. This is Raquel. How may I help you? Yeah, kanya na lang. Okay. Okay. Another one. Okay. Pagod na yung mga ringers mo. Okay. One, two, three. Hello, Babu Hai. This is Patrick from Raquel's Cuisine. How may I help you? Okay. Ayan, you better. Okay, sino bang gusto mag-volunteer? Ah, sir, volunteer ka naman.
Alright, ang kasal. Okay? So, yan yung mga mga ginagawa natin. Okay, what else? Paano mo mapakita na mga Diyos ka aside from pagiging madasalin mo? Prayer before work. May takot sa Diyos. What else? Ma'am, sir, what else? Okay, ito, papakita natin. Respect for divine providence or the spiritual. So we're not talking about religion here. Huh? Pwede kang maging Catholic, Iglesia ni Cristo, Protestant, Christian, wala tayong pinitiling religion. As long as you believe that there is a supreme being. When there is a supreme being, meron siyang itinuturo. Okay? Meron kang dapat naniniwala ka na meron tayong uh, may, may gumawa sa atin, may creator tayo. And dito papasok yung honesty and truthfulness ninyo. We should make, we should make sure that we, in when dealing with our guests, dapat honest tayo and truthful. Pag ikaw umahawa ka ng pera, make sure, declare mo lahat, ikaw pwede maging doktor. <laughs> Pag cashier ka, yun ang trabaho mo, ay dodoktorin ko to, ibubulsa ko yung iba. <laughs> Hindi yan makadiyos. Right? So yan yung kung nakailangan natin gawin. So, next slide. I want to show you that exactly, here are some examples. Dito sa Batanes, meron tayong tinatawag na honesty store. Sino na nakapunta na sa Batanes? Oh, ma'am, nakapunta ka na. Have you been to the honesty store? Sige, ma'am, paki-explain na po kung ano yung honesty store. Sa inyo, ma'am. Sige po. Ano po yung honesty store? Shields. 
responsabili di Rabbi Nabaz e Mr. Shields. E se da Mr. Shields, che sa che è San Frendia, va a puntare a police station. Va a usare la sua in police station, la chita da senatore. Anche da Rabbi Reggie, non driver. E se mai, se i sentono un australiano, Reggie rappresenta the whole body of taxi drivers. In the mind of Mr. Shields, Reggie represents the people of Baguio. Again, in the mind of a foreigner, Reggie represents the Filipino community. You can see, that's, that's very nice of Reggie. And I'm all, mom, more often than not, nare reward naman yan eh. Yung mga kabubutihan natin. Si Reggie, na reward siya. Si Mr. Shields pala owns an academy in Australia. Ginawa niya, binigyan niya na scholarship si Reggie. Worth 220,000 pesos. And, dinala si Reggie para mag maging scholar to become an active developer. Right now, Reggie is now an app developer. So, he now earns 1.7 million for, for doing that. You can see some simple tao hindi nasilaw sa pera. That's, you know, that's being makatiyos. Right? Let's proceed. Makatao. Okay, let's uh, watch this video, please. Of our 
natural resources of our all these attractions. Paano? Wag mong kalat ng basura. Di ba? What else? Di ba kaya nga minsan mag, may dala tayong uh, iniipon natin yung basura sa sasakyan bago itatapon sa isang malaking malaking uh, trash can. So that is being mga kaligasan. Okay? So, next one. Thank you. Okay, that is being mga kaligasan. We are stewards of the environment. We all have a responsibility to preserve and conserve the natural resources and cultural heritage of our country. That's the reason why they come to the Philippines. Kasi ang dami nating magagandang uh, puntahan no, mga natural resources dito sa Pilipinas. Okay? So, our th fourth value is makabansa. Okay? Paano nyo mapakita ng makabansa kayo? Go! Yes, mabuhay. Next, ano pa? Respeto. Marespeto sa... Yes, of course. What else? Yes, ano pa? Paano? Culture, yes. Ano pa? How do you show that you are makabansa? Patriotic, patriotic tayo, no? Eh kanina nga lang, eh, di ba, pinakita natin na nag, uh, naglupang hinirang tayo. That's already an indication na makabansa tayo. Right? So again, what else aside from, you know, respecting the flag, respecting our co-workers, respecting the policies, what else, can we, how else can we show na makabansa tayo? Yes, pagmamahal. How do you show that? How, what do you promote? Patronize local products. <laughs> Correct. Patronize natin yung local products. You were saying something, Peter? Yes, proud. Proud tayong mga Filipino. Kaya siguro nakatatlong beses na ako nagtanong ako sa inyo. Are you proud? Kasi talaga naman nakaka-proud tayo mga Filipino. And also, another way to do that is promote the principle Filipino first. Diba? Bago tayo yung respect our laws, aside from that, yung bilhin din natin yung local products natin. Diba? That's how you you promote ma makabansa. We have to follow the law. Okay? So, that is how we show the makabansa. Now, I, I have here some please okay. Now, can you please show me what are the first four values? Go. The distribute please. Makadios. Makatao. Makalitasan. Makabansa. Huwag yung pagkalimutan niya, ha? Kasi meron tayong exam mamaya. Okay, now I'm passing around some goodies for you. Let's see. Ayan, because our next value is... Wow. Masayahin. Ayan, minigyan kayo na hello. It's a local product. Okay, local product din, ha? Now, siyempre, alam mo itong mga tao, ang mga tao, nabigyan lang tayo ng kon maliit na candy. Masaya tayo, tama? Yes, sir. Eh, yan, nabigyan lang kayo ng hello. Numiti kayo ng konti, di ba? Pero, maas ngingiti kayo pagka nabasa nyo ang hugot dyan. Sige nga, basahin mo yung hugot. Sige, unahin mo yung sa'yo. Go. Asa na yung microphone? Meron po bang microphone dyan? Okay lang po, Marino ako. Kung siguradong sa'yo lang, ikot ang mundo. Next, ano na pa? Sige. Yung iba, yung iba, abang, ibang hugot lines. Go. Walang sinabi ang dictionary, ikaw lang kasi nalapagbigay ng meaning sa buhay. Wow! Okay, si 
Sino yung may next sa iba naman? Kung sa MRT ay nagkakasya ka pa, sa puso ko, pangang kaya. Wow! Next! Let's see! Ang hirap mag-isip ng pick-up lines, lalo na kung ikaw lang ang lang yung laman ng isip ko. Wow! Let's see nga! Sino pa? Yung iba naman. Yung merong ibang... Ah, pareho. Pareho? You have another one? Sige po. Sorry kung maingay ha, kahapon ka pa kasi sinisigaw. Wow! Okay. Ano yung iba? Dito. Sige. Sige, sir. Para kang gravity. Gravity ay ang matunan mo sa'yo. Wow! May iba po ba dito? Ano yung sa'yo? Sa liit ng kamay mo, paano mo nakawag ka ng buong mundo po? Wow! May iba ba? Wala kayong reaction. Mag-react naman. Ano yung sa'yo? Pareho? Pareho? Pareho rin sir? Oh, sige sir. Sige, asarin mo ko. Kasi privilege is sweet. Ako pa kaya. Wow. Okay. So you can see, ang mga Pilipino, alam mo, wala nang mas masama kung mabago ang kaligayahan natin eh. Tayong mga Pilipino, we all were very resilient. Yung madali tayong makapag-recover. Di po ba? As a matter of fact, ang ito tayo ay masamay masayahin talaga at madali tayo makarecover. Filipinos still manage to smile na na COVID na tayo, na bagyo, na lindol, na baha, na landslide na. Pero mga kaang mga Pilipino, sobrang masayahin na. Diba ito? They make fun of the flood. Uh, the flood. Diba? For some people, for some other nations, siguro parang talagang iiyakan nila yan. Pero tayo na masayahin tayo. No, okay. So masayahin talaga ang mga Pilipino. So, we use the power of our smile. Sabi nga ni Sir kanina, Joker daw siya. Masayahin siya eh, di ba? You use the power of our smile and the power of our sense of humor while doing our work. Using humor is a good way to lighten the mood of our guests. Okay, so, yan po. Ulitin natin. What are the first five values? Adios. Tao. Kapatikasa. Kapatikasa. Masayahe. At next one. My bayanihan, okay? I will divide you into six groups, okay? For per row, two rows. One, two, please help me distribute this. Okay, first two rows, one pouch. The next two rows, they put one pouch there. Then yung last two rows then. And then, do naman sa kabila. First two rows also, one pouch. Okay, I want you to open your... I have one pouch. Okay. Ah, ayan na po. Share na po sila. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you all have pouches. Open the pouch now, and then I want you to see the pouch inside. I want you to create the longest rubber band, but the instruction I need five rubber bands in one chain. Okay, go. Let's start now. Take the long rubber band in one chain. The first person.
bayanihan value natin. Okay, so, ayan na po Obviously, the next value, but before we do that, let's see first. The may, may bayanihan value. Bayanihan comes from the word bayan at bayani. Do you know that bayan here does not only mean Philippines? It can also mean your community, your family, your department, your company. Diba? Sa isa-isang company natin, we all help each other. Right? Sa community natin, we all help each other. Kaya nga meron sinasabi, gusto-gusto ko yung nakalagay doon na ano yun? Um, harap mo, linis mo. linis mo. Bakuran mo, linis mo. That's also may bayanihan. Another way to show may bayanihan is when we have parties. Para natin papakita yung may bayanihan. Kanya-kanya po ng handa, tas para mag-merge siya. Ano tawag doon? Potluck. Diba? That's also my bayanihan. Okay? So, my bayanihan. Uh, every action leads to an impression. If we don't work together and assist one another, then we might miss better opportunities for the tourism industry. Let us all work together for a brighter Philippine tourism industry. Okay? So let's proceed to the six value. Pero bago yan, review muna tayo. Ano yung mga six value? First six values? Makanyang na Diyos, makatao, makalikasan, makabansa, makabansa, masayahin, malabayan yan. Pwede po bang huwag natin tingnan yung ating notes? Kasi mamaya meron meron tayong quiz. Huwag natin tingnan yung notes natin. Everybody, the first six values. Makadiyos, makatao, makaligasan, makabansa, makabansa, masayari, masayari, may bayan niya. May bayan niya. Alright. And our last value is uh, welcome to what? Uh, no. From what company are you? Ah, intense pa ba kayo? Okay. Alam niyo na ba to? FDSP? Hindi pa. Okay, makinig na lang kayo ha. Okay. All right. So let's um let's uh, let's proceed with the seventh value which is my pag-asa okay my pag-asa so sino gusto mag-share kung ano nangyari sa inyo during pandemic tingnan po natin si gusto niyo si pa yung mag-share na ano nangyari sa inyo during pandemic Walang wala sabi ni Ma'am Severine. O, oh, totoo yun. Talagang walang trabaho. Walang wala. Pero pa nga dito, nagplantito, plantita, nagbebenta, nag-online. Alam mo, every time I ask about that, ang daming nagsasabi, Ma'am, dati akong um, driver, pero nagbenta na lang ako ng isla sa palengke. That's a very decent job. But in order to push on with life, to go on with life, he has to do something. So kayo, ano ginawa niyo during pandemic? Sino dito yung nawalan ng mahal sa buhay? Si may nawalan ng trabaho? Si may nawalan ng... Wala ng negosyo. Ako yun. <laughs> Pati ba ikaw, country? Yes, mo, ma'am. Okay. So, meron tayo, tayong mga Pilipino, resilient tayo eh. Patawa-tawa, pangiti-iti lang, kahit na may hinihinda at may dinadagdag sa puso. Sino ba dito yung walang problema? 
Pakitaasan kawain ng walang problema. Dahil kayo ang idol ko. <laughs> idol ko ko. Ay, ay, ako oh, nga yung mga bata. Nakakaindit nga yung mga babies. Wala silang problema. Ah, if they hard, they're hungry, they'll just cry to begin sila ng food, ng meal. Okay? Lahat naman tayo, guys, meron tayong problema. May hugot sa buhay. Tama? But, because we are masayahin, we, we, can, we can always show na set aside muna yung problema, nandito muna tayo. But also, I'd like, because I'm going to talk about may pag-asa, I'd like to make sure that this may pag-asa uh, value comes out of us. Gusto ko lang po sabihin sa inyo na ang aking pamilya, ishishare ko lang po sa inyo, ang aking pamilya are advocates of mental health awareness. Ano po ang ibig sabihin ng mental health awareness? Ito po yung advocacy namin family. It all started with Kylie. As a beauty queen, she has, and she should have an advocacy. And a an, uh, beauty queen must have an advocacy. When she won in 2016 in Japan, pumunta maraming mga newscasters. Sabi nila, Kylie, ano ang advocacy mo? Dapat kasi meron ka advocacy. Sabi, sabi niya, uh, Ma'am, ang advocacy ko po, mental health awareness, sabi ng newscaster, ay ang baduy. Dapat education or malnutrition. Eh, and strong si Kylie, sabi niya. Ma'am, those are good advocacies. Malnutrition, education, but I'd like to push for my own advocacy, which is mental health awareness. Nobody talks about that, sabi ng newscaster. Sabi ka, all the more that I should talk about mental health awareness. Ano ba yan? We give hope to people para mawalan or mabawasan ang suicide. Suicide. Sa bansa natin. Do you know that the number two cause of death in the whole world is suicide. Number one, cardiac arrest. Number two, cause of death, suicide. In the Philippines and in the whole world, let's start first, whole world, four out of, out of four people, one suffers from a mental health illness. And when mental health illness, it is depression, Ito yung anxiety, yeah, mga PTSD. Yeah, those are mga, once you have depression, everything that goes into your head are all negative. Your head tells you, you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you are not worth it, you're better off dead. Kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself. That is what your brain tells you. That is why maraming nagpapakamatay. Kasi nakikinig sila sa kung anong sinasabi ng brain nila. Totoo yun na their brain tells them, magpakamatay ka na, wala kang silbi sa buhay sa mundo ito. So that's why a lot of people either hang themselves, shoot themselves, or they take a lot of um, pills, the, a bottle of pills. Because, hindi nila nakayanan yung sinasabi ng isip nila. So, kaya, what, why is it that this is our advocacy as a family? It started with Kylie. Kylie suffers from or struggles from clinical depression. Clinical depression, yun ang sinasabi. Napakagandang bata, napakatalino, pero ang sinasabi ng mind niya, you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you're not pretty enough, you kill yourself, you're better off dead. Another one, my other daughter has the same also. My husband is bipolar, has struggles from bipolar disorder. These 
are mental illnesses. Pag tinanong nyo, hereditary ba to? Not always, but the children are predisposed to it. So, ang nangyari niyan, bakit namin pinupush ito? Marami kasi nagsususuicide. Eh, every life, each life is important. So, we go around the Philippines, madami na kaming talks sa nabigay, at sinasabi namin sa mga, sa mga tao, let we talk about it, that each life is important. Alam niyo ba, sa likod, may humahagulgol. Because, na-affect sila. May lumulunga, may umihiyang. Because, either, ang kanilang pamilya, isang kansang ng pamilya, or kaibigan nila ng pakamatay. Or undergoing the same kind. It is a sickness, but you cannot see it. Mabuti pa yung cancer, makikita mo eh. Makikita mo po, oh, cancer patient siya, dahil nag-chemo siya, nakalbo siya. Makikita mo yung, yung, um, yung mga point, yung mga may may pneumonia, kasi ubo na ubo na nga may layan. Pero ang mental health, in mental disorder, hindi mo makikita. Wala sa itsura. Wala sa itsura. Kung dumaan ka ng sa session, hindi mo alam kung sino dyan ang nag-struggle. But four, out, out of four, there's always one who struggles from mental disorder. That's why we go around the Philippines. My husband already tried to commit suicide. He put a gun here. Okay. But with God's grace, hindi niya kinagoy. Nandun sa tabi niya, our four-year-old son, who is now 19 years old. Four years old, sabi niya, pag itinuloy ko to, magigising niyo ang anak ko. At yung anak ko yun, makikita niya dugo all over the room. And he will grow up with PTSD, post-traumatic depression. And he will become like him who undergoes the same depression. And he wouldn't like that. That's why he stopped it. So ang husband ko si Kylie, si Chelsea, they go around the Philippines. Kasama ako. Sino, anong ginagawa ko? Wala naman ako mental disorder. But I go around and talk to people as a caregiver. Because kung sila hirap, ako rin mahirap pa sa caregiver. Mahirap alagaan ang mga tao meron dito na gusto mong pakamatay. One time si Kylie may, may nagkaroon ng clinical depression episode sa Manila. Mag-isa lang siya sa condo. My husband had the same in Baguio. Saan ako pupunta? Sa husband ko? Or sa, sa anak ko? Sabi ng husband ko, go down, take the bus. Go with Kylie. Mahirap. So, for every talk that we have, meron kami na sa save na buhay. And I'd like to connect this to... Okay? Habang may buhay, may pag-asa. It's a familiar line we hear from Filipinos who are going through adversity or difficult times. We are able to rise again whenever we encounter challenges. Katulad sa turismo natin, bumagsak ang turismo natin, pero we're now going up, picking ourselves up slowly. May pag-asa. So yan ang kailangan nating gawin. Yan po ang ating um, seventh value. Okay? So everybody, can you please read to me the seven M's of the Filipino core values? Ito po ang foundation ng FBSE. Foundation ng FBSE, ibig sabihin, 
Kaya tayo magaling magbigay ng servisyo dahil meron tayong values na ito. Kung wala itong mga values na ito, bagsak ang FBSE. Walang FBSE. May foundation tayo ng FBSE. So I want you guys to remember the reason why we give excellent service is because we have we embody this. Pinapatang, pinapangatawanan natin ang lahat ng ito, ang values na ito. So, in ending, in ending, because it's because it's already 12 o'clock, tama po ba? 12 o'clock, and it's about time for lunch. I just want to let you know, guys, that this is, this topic, we're done with module one. This topic is very important because this will actually give the answers to why are we great in doing in giving service excellence. Okay, so these are the reasons why we can give better service compared to the other nationalities. Okay, so once again, I'd like to summarize this that um, on service excellence is a kind of attitude that we should embrace. Service excellence is an attitude that we should give to our guests, whether local or international tourists, okay? And you being frontliners, you have a great role in connecting with our tourists. You need to show them service excellence. But how will we be able to show them service excellence? We embody the seven M's, the core Filipino core values. Ang tanong ko, are you willing to embody or pangatawanan ang seven M's? Yes! Kung willing kayo dyan, alam ko po, pagbibigay po tayo ng service excellence sa ating mga turista, clients, pakasyonista, customers, pasahe. So once again, I'd like to end this afternoon with Mabuhay. Mabuhay! Right. Have a good lunch. Thank you. I do every morning. Walang miss yan. Walang rason na may bagyo ang labig. Hindi ako maligo. So hindi pwedeng ganon. Okay? And hindi po kailangan Especially yung deodorant sa atin. Lalo na at times sobrang dami nating trabaho talagang pinapawisan niyan okay but more than this i'd like to also mention about our our body language and first impression okay so if you look at these chapter obviously ito ang um, ito ang ating good posture kaya nga kanina lang ito kasi inyo pinapa-check good posture ng mabuhay gesture. So, yan ang kailangan natin. Any part of the tourism industry, whether you are in accommodation or transport or sa vendors, you need to show good posture kasi yan yung una natin binibigay sa kanila. Yeah, we have to create a good impression. Okay? Pag nakita nila na may good impression tayo, may may, ah, okay to, okay dito, ang linis ng mga drivers, ang babahit, ang mga uh, presentable sa admin, presentable sa cashier, sa accounting, para mas mataas yung impression nila sa atin. Okay? Now, it's important that you also show the mabuhay gesture properly. And as I mentioned a while ago, when you do the mabuhay, I will reiterate it again. You do it with a smart stance, and then chest talaga, inakaganyan, at saka smiling with the eyes and the correct intonation. So that is what we practice very often, okay? So we will do the mabuhay gesture. Okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, since we're talking about, we're talking about posture, I want everybody to stay at the back and you will express yourself. Lahat tayo unique. 
Okay? Unique tayo. Pero pagdating dito sa art na to, lampas ng chord, from there you will walk by twos. Walk kayo dito. I want you to walk, to dance, and then express yourself. Kasi you need to express yourself and show your uniqueness. Pero pagdating nyo dito, lampas ng chord, I want you to face front and you say it now this time seriously. We do the maboy gesture. Mabuhay. And we will be checking on you guys. Okay? I want you to do that by, by twos para hindi nahihiya yung iba. Ready? Go behind, please. Go behind. Alam pa ka natin. Lalo na pag naka-mask kayo, kailangan makita yung smile sa eyes, no? And, 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 and you know, a smile is very contagious. Pag nag-smile ako sa iyo, normally mag-smile ka sa akin. And you don't know that smile that you give to a person can actually change his life at that moment. Gibigyan mo kayo ng example, no? This happened in... Um, in one of the bridges in Cebu. And then, naglalakad siya dun sa bridge. And there's this person na nakatingin lang siya sa bridge tapos nakatingin sa ilalim sa dada, sa under the bridge. May naglalakad. And then, nakita niya yung tao na na nandun, nandun lang, nandun lang, nandun lang, parang bumuling-buling. And then, sinabi niya lang, nung nakita niya na may lumalakad, this person smiled at the guy. Okay? Nag-smile siya. Yung smile pa na, yung meron pa, ipaganyan-ganyan pa. But there was no communication. But this one, it was just a smile. Gumanyan siya. And then, here's this person, na lumabas na, lalaki, sinundan niya. Ah, uh, bro, sabi niya. Malaki din niya. Sa, bro, um, may sabihin lang ako sa'yo. Ano po yun? Kala na ang guy. Ano ba ito? Ba't ako nilapitan nito ang lalaking ito? Thank you for for bigyan, bigyan mo ko ng pansin. Alam niyo po, pagka nakalimung sa'yo, tatayo na ako sa bridge. Pero yung smile niyo, Nabigyan ako ng pag-asa na people still care for me. So, malalim ako. That smile was powerful. Right? That smile brought that person into na, 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 na enlightened siya. I'm not at all a waste of life in this earth. So, they became good friends. And uh, these two friends of mine, they become my friend. They became my friends, and they, we still get in touch. We keep in touch, and that's the story why they became good friends. Also, <laughs> practically, that person he does not even know that person with that smile, with that wave of the hand, na save niya from jumping over the bridge. See. That's very contagious. So, you, he gave them him hope, pag-asa. Okay, always be the first one to greet your guest. Right? Alam na natin kung paano sila greet. Instead of good morning, good afternoon, kamusta po kayo, would you simply lang ang sasabihin nyo? What? Mabuhay. Okay. And of course, give it a chance na babigay niyo yung gesture, bigay niyo yung gesture. Kasi, at times, like yung mga waiters, hindi naman sila makakapagmabuhay kung maraming dalang tray. Di ba? Minsan naman, paano magbubuksan yung door kung uh, kung hindi naman, kung may hawak dito at may hawak din na ganyan. So you just even have to utter the word mabuhay. But generally, it has to be mabuhay and the gesture. Pero kung hindi, at least na mabuhay. Pero kung hindi kayo makasalita, at least the gesture. 
Okay? So that is what you do. Offer assistance even if you are not asked. Okay. Ano ibig sabihin ng be friendly but not over familiar? Be friendly but not over familiar. Sa trabaho mo, Patre, ano ang ibig sabihin niyan? Tama, okay. But what about not from uh, not over familiar? Oh, do not think they can go pro, come on, stop. Or, ganyan, ganyan. Or, tulista yan eh. Pag pumunta sa opisina niyo. Welcome. Okay, mabuhay. And then probably you can do a little bit of uh, yung um, pamilya or no, pero yung hindi papakita mo sa ibang tao, nag-high five kayo pareho. Kasi turista yan or kliyente yan. Okay? And then, of course, we talked about this, embody the Filipino core values. Napag-usapan na natin yan kanina. And ito yung gusto-gusto kong i-sabihin. Ask appropriate questions to start a conversation. Pero sabi ko, Ma'am, naiawa, nahihiya akong makipag-communicate sa guest. Paano ba mag-start ng conversation? Di ba? Greet and engage your guests. You know how to greet. But how do you engage them? To engage them means to keep in touch. To talk to them. Now, how do you talk to them? Sasabihin ni Peter, Ma'am, pasensya na po, sobrang mahiyain ko talaga. Hindi ka akong makakapag-communicate sa kanila. Kwento ko na lang sa inyo, paano ba makipag-communicate sa guest? Okay? So this is what you do. Okay? Start with asking close questions. Ang close questions, ganito lang yan. Answerable by yes or no. Example, first time niyo po dito sa Baguio, ang sagot lang yan, yes or no. Oo, or hindi. Di ba? Pagka sumagot sa inyo na oo, then, ibig sabihin, willing siya makipag-communicate sa'yo. Pero pag ang sagot niya sa'yo, oo, 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 okay, ganyan. Ibig sabihin, he's busy, don't talk to him. But at least you made an effort. Remember, especially sa hotels, no? Except for the, for motels, kasi, Sa motels, ibang kultura rin yun, di ba? Ang motel, less interaction, better. Correct? Okay. Iba ang motel, iba ang hotel. Okay. Now, um, have you stayed with us before? First uh, first time ni po ba dito? Or uh, do you like the weather here in Baguio? Okay. Ingat po kayo. First time ni pong sumakay dito sa aming modernized bus or jeep, di ba tawag sa inyo? Modern bus. Modernized bus, no? A modern vehicle namin. First time niyo po ba? Enjoy niyo po. Pwede po kayo mag-selfie. Selfie dyan. Mag-ingat lang po kayo. So, kung tinanan niyo first time, yes. Ako, hindi pa ko nakasakay, but I want to try. No? Okay. So, close questions. That is the very thing that you do first. And uh, make sure you ask questions which are just answerable by yes or no. Kaya, kayong mga mahilig mag, yung mga mahina ang, um, or how do we say, yung super shy, start a communicating by asking close questions. Now, pagka nagsumagot sa inyo, ibig sabihin, willing siyang mag-progress yung inyong conversation. So that is the time you Ask open-ended questions. Taka saan po kayo? Ang sagot naman doon, hindi yes or no eh. Ay, taga Manila ako. Ah, kamusta po ang stay niyo sa Baguio? Kamusta, saan po kayo bababa? Ang sagot doon, sa Aurora Hill. Diba? Paano ba lang mag magpapara yung mga pasahero sa, sa pas ninyo? Mga para. Ah, ganun din, parang jeep din. Okay. So, stop the car. <laughs> Sir, it's over. <laughs> Na, nakita ko yung TikTok na yun eh. Uh, how do you, pa, paano niyo paparahin ang bus or jeepney? 
Please stop. Ano ba yun? Please stop. Uh, I, I'm not in, I'm over. Parang gano'n kaya rin. Anyway, uh, I, sana nakita ko yun. Kung ayaw kong nakita nyo yun, natawa ko nung nakita ko yung TikTok video na yun. No? So, please make sure you use close-ended close questions, close questions, and then progress the in communication with open-ended questions. The reason why we're sharing this with you guys is because you need to engage your guests. Hindi ko sinasabi siyon na kumusapin mo siya for 30 minutes. Hindi ko sinasabi kumusapin niyo for 15 minutes. E kakain na yan. Then starts with a smile and also a little bit of chit-chat. Okay? Pag ulo ka sa co-op ninyo, and before you also assist them, and while assisting them, you have to get to know their business. And what, they, what is their business? Why are they here? Okay? So, ganun yun. Lalo na sa mga hotel years. You need to know that you need, uh, that you have to engage with them. Okay? So, sabi, Ma'am Raquel, sabi nyo, makipag-communicate ako sa mga guests. Kundi ang sinag-communicate talaga ako, ang tanong ko, single ka pa ba? <laughs> or, um, ano yung Facebook account mo? Pwede ba makumbang number, no? Di ba yung mga ganun? Tama ba yun? No. That, those are personal questions. So, how? What are, there are, okay, there are appropriate topics. And please read with me, what are the appropriate topics? Weather, sports, local attractions, vacation, food, and local festivals. Ito yung mga topics na pag tinanong ninyo, hindi mo sila ma-offend. That's why it's called safe topics. That's why if you ask, kamusta po yung weather namin? Do you like our weather here in Baguio? Safe topic yan. Hindi sila ma-offend yan. Pero pag tinanong mo, may asawa ka na. Offensive <laughs> yan. Eh kung itong binatang to, eh ang tagal-tagal na naganahanap ng dawan. <laughs> Di ba? Tapos kapag-break lang nila, masakit para sa kanya yun. Di ba? So, but if you stay on these appropriate topics, you will never go wrong. In fact, your conversation will become, will be progressing. Will become, will progress to a friend, more friendly conversation. And remember this, when you converse, when you engage, you create a relationship. And from the very beginning this morning, we established the fact that Tourism, frontliners, is about creating or building, developing relationships. The relationship between a frontliner and a tourist. Okay? Now, so, yan yun. Now, since wala naman sa next slide yung un inappropriate topics or yung hindi safe topics, tell me, what are the unsafe topics? Personal questions, sikat ka pa ba? Yes. Pa? Age. 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 Personal question yun. What else? Status. Gender. <laughs> Speaking of gender, gender is also an inappropriate topic. So sabihin mo, baka ka ba? <laughs> Ay, pareho tayo. Appear. <laughs> Ay, maklush. Ha? Ah, ganon, di ba? Hindi na ako pwedeng ganon. It's, buti sa akin ang best friend ko yan. Eh, tourist na yan eh. There is also professionalism that you have to, to manifest. Right? So, ano pa yung kaya, ano pa? Gender. You don't ask about gender. What else? Religion. Religion, tama. Wala naman tayong dapat religion dito. <laughs> There's no way we should, should talk about it. What else? But, 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 
the way you dress? Ah, yes. Oh, tama po yun. Okay, yun pala mas parang abang judgmental. Uy, nakang damit mo. Parang kinurang ng pera. Diba? Okay. O, nagsasabi mo, nagdamit ka pa. Diba? Okay. What else? What about political views? Safe or not safe? Not safe. Okay. Hindi mo alam, isa Lenny, isa bongbong. Right? What else? Unsafe topics. Dito. Health status. Health, oo. Parang yung isa galing sa hospital, okay lang po kayo. Ano po ba sakit niyo? Wala akong pakilang. Bukas na. Ba, ano, hindi taling na buhay ko. Gusto ko sumama. Ano ang gano'n? Ano pa? Ano pa? So here's your bill, sir. Um, so this way we will get our phone out then. And for us, it's a way to make sure we have a service yet, service charge phone. Um, we accept all of the cash and the cards for you. Can you go to the clerk office? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Here's his jeans, please, sir. Yes, sir.
Pwede rin wala na observer, pero mag-join sa home play.